In continuing with our discussion about stroke recovery and rehabilitation, I'm sitting here with Melissa Myers, who is the founder of the YES Group here at Moss Rehab, which is the Young Empowerment Stroke Support Group. Melissa, talk to us about how did you come up with the idea of creating such a group and, and what is this group all about? Well, the idea really came from the fact that we were seeing a lot, uh, a lot of our patients were, were younger in age. A lot of our clients were under the age of 65. And when they were being discharged from skilled therapy, we really didn't have a resource for them to go to. We didn't have any place for them to meet or to um, gain more knowledge about resources. Um, and people were really looking for support um, in, in our program. So the staff members here, we decided if we don't have anything for them to go to, then why don't we create something for them to be able to attend. So the YES group really focuses on several things, mainly um, coping skills, coping strategies, uh, as well as role attainment, really helping people attain those roles that they used to have before the stroke, whether it's a mother or a father, a worker, or somebody who participates in leisure activities. And then also we really wanted to give people a context for socialization. We wanted people to be able to socialize with other members who were experiencing similar issues in life after a stroke. Now the YES group is specifically for stroke survivors who are under the age of 65, is that correct? Mm -hmm. um, are there major differences between that demographic who have suffered a stroke versus an older demographic? Yeah, I think that the needs are definitely different um, for both age ranges. Older individuals who have experienced a stroke, they may not be working any longer. Some of them may not be even driving. Um, they're towards the later decades of life and their needs and roles are just def different. Um, individuals who are under the age of 65 are primarily still working, um, mm -hmm. driving, still very active lifestyles. Uh, they may even be raising children or grandchildren at that time in their life. So the needs in general are just different. Mm -hmm. um, so what are some of the activities um, that happen? Do you meet on specific days mm -hmm. or, um, you know, is it once a month? How, how um, often do you, does your support group meet and what are some of the activities that um, you yeah. provide? Sure. It's, um, it's structured um, by meeting. We meet two times a month and we've met consistently twice a month for the last three years. And the group is structured um, basically by having, um, it's a blended forum of having lectures, having some educational information. Um, we have experts in specific content area, depending on if we're talking about diabetes or nutrition. Um, we also include social aspects of the group. Uh, every year we, we get a group of people together to participate in the Strides for Stroke, which is held downtown. Mm -hmm. Um, it's a 5K to, that raises money uh, and awareness for stroke. So we do that. We also have forums where we have, um, say, a neuropsychologist come in, where we talk about coping strategies. We've done uh, speakers with yoga, uh, meditation, acupuncture, driving, working, uh, volunteer activities. You name it, we've probably, we probably have featured it at the group at some point in time. Who can attend or join um, the support group? Do you offer family members to come in with the um, stroke survivors or um, do the stroke survivors just come on their own? So the way it's structured is um, family members are always welcome to attend. Um, family members definitely also need coping strategies as well. Uh, stroke doesn't just affect the, the stroke survivor, it also f affects the whole family unit. So caregivers are welcome to join. We sometimes break out into a caregiver group and a group member group. So caregivers can um, you know, empathize and talk with one another and, and develop their own coping strategies. Uh, there is no fee to attend the group. Uh, we're located on the American Stroke Association website, the National Stroke Association website, and also on the Moss Rehab website. Um, anybody can, can come and we, even if you're over the age of 65, what we say is it just it depends on 
if you feel like an older 65 year old person or a younger 65. Um, so we don't uh, discriminate against age either. It's just knowing that we will be focusing on a more of an active uh, role participation versus um, something that might happen you know, in your, the later decades of life. Okay, now you mentioned um, a few websites to, mm -hmm. um, to go to to learn more information about the program. Um, is there any specific one that you can send our, our viewers to? Should they contact you? Or um, you know, where, should they, where should they go specifically? Yeah, so um, on the Moss Rehab website, there is a link for the Young Empowerment Stroke Support Group. Um, if you Google that as well, Moss, the Moss Rehab site will come up first. Um, we're listed on the directory of the National Stroke Association and the American Stroke Association. So um, the link and information is there and the contact person would be myself. So in all, all of those areas, it'll lead back to me. Okay. <laughs> so. Well, thank you so much sure. for speaking with us today.